Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Q1 figures for the EDAG Engineering Group AG. I'm the Rustin Lehmann, Head of Investor Relations, and I will guide you through. As usual, please carefully read the legal disclaimer before we start. First of all, I'm going to show you the market environment. We're going to start with an overview on the global economic development, which is currently heavily influenced by the war in Ukraine, by the lockdowns due to the corona restrictions in China, and also, of course, inflation. These restraining factors made the IMF to lower the gross expectations for this year to 3.6%. The automotive industry is impacted, of course, by the supply chain restraints and the lockdowns in China. But we see a two-sided picture there. On the one hand side, we see the suppliers, which are suffering a little bit more from the supply chain disruptions and increasing prices. On the other hand side, the automotive OEMs are still posting solid margins as they are focusing on high margin cars and granting less rebates on their cars. So the OEMs are still generating a decent cash, which they need to invest into future technologies. And this is what is currently driving the market for engineering services providers like EDAC. So at this point in time, we feel rather limited consequences of the restraining factors. Indeed, the technological transformation in the automotive industry forces the OEMs to invest heavily, and we see a high number of requests for quotations. So overall, our outlook for the coming quarters is quite confident, and this is backed by a very strong order intake, which we received in Q1. So let us go into the details of the first quarter. Our revenues were significantly up. 23.5% growth in the first quarter to 193.5 million euros. Well, this is a bit misleading as we had some base effects from a very weak Q1 last year, but nevertheless, with these revenues, we are back at the pre-crisis level. Looking at the adjusted EBIT, we are posting a solid 14.7 million euros, which corresponds to a margin of 7.6%. This, ladies and gentlemen, is indeed the highest margin that we are posting since our IPO in 2015. And looking a little bit ahead, the order intake in Q1 was extraordinarily high. We jumped in order intake by 30.2% to a total of 266 million euros. And the good news here is that it was not only January and February, but also March, which was above our internal estimates in terms of order intake. We have founded a new business unit, which is called Energy Systems and Drivetrain. In this new unit, we are focusing not only on the drivetrain of future cars, but also on energy management and energy transformation. So we're going to offer new services to our clients and address their future needs. Moreover, and this is another fantastic news, EDAC has been certified for the 14th time as a top employer. This helps us to attract and retain the desired talents that we need for our further growth. Let us go into the details at the next slide. Revenues are set up by 23.5%. And now looking at our three segments, you see that they are all growing double digit. Vehicle engineering is benefiting from a sound demand from international, but also domestic clients. Electrics Electronics is benefiting from a high demand in software and digitalization. And finally, production solutions the segment, which was a little bit struggling over the last years, is now finally picking up in growth pace and also growing by more than 30%. The adjusted EBIT has more than tenfold compared to last year. Looking at the segments, here again the picture is comparable. Vehicle engineering and electrics electronics posting a very solid margin of 8.3%. Production solutions is now finally positive and posting a margin of 2.1% as we are seeing also a positive order intake in this segment, we expect the recovery to continue. The cash flow is positive, operating and free cash flow, despite working capital outflow as we are growing and building up working capital. This is due to very low investments and of course the high profitability. And looking at the net financial debt, as always, we are showing at the left-hand side, a pillar including leasing liabilities and at the right-hand side, a pillar excluding the leasing liabilities. Now, if we look at the net debt at the end of March this year, you see that excluding leasing liabilities, 
we don't have any net debt. We have net financial assets amounting to almost 12 million euros. Moreover, we had more than 105 million euros in available credit lines at the end of March. So EDAC is financially strong and well prepared for whatever may come over the next quarters. Finally, let us quickly view on the order intake. As said in the beginning, order intake was up by more than 30%. And the good news here again is all of our three segments are growing in terms of order intake. Vehicle engineering more than 30%, electrics electronics is pushing very hard at 38%, but also production solutions with an order intake growing by 6%. The order book on the right hand side is well filled. So this all makes us looking confident into the coming quarters, despite all the restraining factors. So concluding, coming to our outlook, we have not changed anything in our guidance for the current year. Overall, we expect an accelerated growth momentum and a positive development in key performance indicators. However, this estimation depends largely on the war in Ukraine and possible further geopolitical disputes, as well as ongoing disruptions in global supply chains and further pandemic developments. Overall, we expect our revenues to grow in a range of around 6 to 9%. The adjusted EBIT margin is expected in a range of around 6 to 8%, and our investment rate is expected at a range of around 4 to 5%. So ladies and gentlemen, concluding, this has been a really, really strong first quarter, posting the best margin in the first quarter since our IPO. We had a very sound order intake. And despite all the negative factors, we are really looking with confidence into the coming quarters. Should you have any question or require a meeting, please do not hesitate to contact me at any time. I will be more than happy to support you in any way. Thanks for watching this video, everyone, and have a good day. Bye-bye. Since you watched this company video until the end, I'm guessing you liked the video. That's probably because we work very hard to create the most engaging and value-added content possible for you. If you're a stock-listed company or corporation and want to find out how we at c Celebrity can make a company video with and about you, please email us at community at c